Good morning, my name is Michelle from Inner Porcel Summer. Welcome to Friday Sews. Today I'm wearing the Hug Hoodie by Made It. Um, I'm afraid that uh, Made It patterns no longer are in um, process, but um, the Hug Hoodie is um, or was a free pattern. So, um, I do apologise, but I am wear, I'm wearing it and it, it goes like it's a crisscross. I've got tracksuit bottoms on as well, which are shop bought. So, yeah, thought I'd just let you know what I'm wearing and back to the video. So today is Friday Sews and it was bought, um, it was created rather by the lovely Jen in today in Jen's sewing room. And it was been going a few years now, I believe. And um, yeah, she decided to um, hashtag Friday Sews and everybody could put on what they was doing all that week. So if you go online and you decide you want to um, look at what everybody's been up to all week, you can hash, you can put, type in the hashtag. Um, Friday shows and loads and loads of um, vloggers will come across uh, from all areas of the world and I'm sure um, there's a, a little bit of everything for someone so please keep watching if you're interested in what I've been doing all week thank you so this week I finished off my sagebrush top and the ethel pants and also snuck in a little bit of um another project which was the billy shirt by tilly and buttons now friday pattern company originally made the sagebrush top so this is what it looks like and this is what it looks like from the back as you can see and it just this is my favorite top i know i've said it loads of times um but it really really is my favorite top to wear and my favorite top to sew up at them at the moment because there will be another one out there i'm sure and this one comes in a size excuse me let me turn it around because this sizing is the other way around it comes from a size extra small which is a 32 to 33 bust a waist of 24 to 25 and a hips of 34 to 35 and it goes up to a xl times seven which is a 59 to 60 in the bust a waist of 52 to 53 and the hips of 62 to 63 now, sometimes with this pattern, you'll find that you may have to grade out slightly depending on your hips. My hips are actually in line with my shoulders. But my bust area is a little bit bigger than what is on the measurement for me. So I sometimes have to grade out. It depends on the fab. Now, that does depend on the fabric that I choose. Um, if I, this one, I did, the one I've got on here, I didn't have to, no, it, do excuse me while I just change over to the sagebrush top that I finished on barrel. So the sagebrush top that I finished off was in a viscose and it, it was bought by, um, from the, uh, market in West Bromwich Town Centre in here in Birmingham um, which is not too far from me and I made the shorter version of it of the sagebrush because sometimes when I wear the sagebrush top um, depending on the fabric of course I find it rides up from the hips upwards so I get a sagging area across my tummy which makes my tummy look quite bigger actually and um yeah so i thought i'd come on and show you what this looks like finished um 
because it is my favourite top, of course, at the moment. Do excuse if you can hear the dog running around because he's driving me potty at the minute. So, um, yeah, so I thought I'd show you that. Um, there isn't much I can say to you about the sagebrush top that I haven't already explained to you. Um, it's a lovely make, but, you know, if you go fabric-wise, if you go with an extra small to a medium, you will need um, 1.9 metres of this. I could get this out of just over a metre and a half, to be honest, um, depending on the length. If, if I went for the normal length that I do go for, I could get this out of just, as I said, just over a metre and a half. This I got in a metre and a half because I didn't go so long on the length. If you go for a large to um, a double XL, you'll need two and a half meters. If you go for um, an extra large, extra, extra large, you'll need um, nearly three meters. So, um, Anything from an extra, extra large upwards will need three metres. I would get just over three metres to be on the safe side. It's always better to have more than less. Um, as, uh, you know, us... Excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, I've got fog in my throat. As I was saying, as all of us have come across that at some point. So my next make was the ethyl pants. Now, let me just change barrel over to the ethyl pants. Do excuse me if I keep looking down because um, I've made some notes on the ethyl pants. Um, right, these are Stylark ethyl designer pants. Now, these patterns <coughs> come as a, <coughs> a picture like that. And as you can see, they are three quarter length. And those are on the back there, the instructions here and here of how to sew them up. And here are the sizings. Now, I've spoke about style arcs before where they don't give you many very good instructions of sewing things up um, but through our lovely community of sewing we've I've recently found out that Style Art do do a lot of tu tutorials on um, their patterns that they do and there are other people who have sewn up these the, these items who do <coughs> As I said, who do sew these things up and sometimes they do a tutorial or explain. Um, so you just just type in the style arc design ethyl designer pants, for instance, and lots of things will come up as to um how to go about so um styling them from styling the um actual patterns to styling. Uh, the, what you can start the fabric with, what you can start. There's just all there's loads and how how lots of people have sewn them up. Um, I chose <coughs> this linen look viscose. Yeah, this linen look viscose, and I bought this from Pound Fabrics. Now, just give me a minute, and I'll be back to you. Do excuse me, I've just found the receipt um, that I bought these from, which is Pound Fabrics, and um, the, excuse the squeaking, that's the dog. Uh, I promise you it's not me. Um, the denim, these are called Denim Linen Look Woven Polyester Fabric. So it's not a viscose linen look. As I originally thought, I do have a viscose linen look denim um, fabric, but these are called denim linen look woven polyester fabric, and this was 
this fabric was two pound fifty a meter from pound fabrics now pound fabrics i highly recommend they come with a receipt like this so you know what you're ordering and it it, it just comes with with the receipt and it, i just find it absolutely amazing because sometimes <coughs> as as i've just found out you forget what you've ordered so anyway back to the style art pants <coughs> These are a, it also needs mainly on the overlocker. I do apologise for keep looking down, but these, are, these this is where my um, notes are. Um, the pattern comes in four pieces only. The pattern is quite easy to follow. <clears throat> the instructions are in 12 steps, which is not a lot of steps to follow, to be honest. Uh, I went with a size medium, which is a 14, but I think what I could have done was go down to a size small, which would be a 12. Um, I, I did have to take it in an inch either side. I had to unpick the um, pockets, reel on the pockets and take it in. Um, I also had to take it in on the uh, inner side of the leg at the bottom, which I took in by, uh, I think it was um, just over a centimetre each side, which, because when I, when I put them on, they was going like that. So the leg would come down like that, and then at the bottom it would go like that again, which was daft because it makes you look like you was flying. So anyway, <clears throat> that was that. Um, I would highly recommend anybody trying these, trying to sew these up. It says that it's for an advanced beginner and an or an intermediate sewist for this pattern. But if if you're okay with following style arc patterns, I would say it's it's beginner friendly because as I said, it's only four pieces and that's including the pockets. It is just <coughs> the waistband, the pocket and to the front and the back. That's all it is. It's just basically following the instructions and I found them quite fine to follow. Um, however, um, as I said, if you do get stuck, there is plenty and plenty of tutorials and vlogs out there that can explain these ethyl pants. Um, I will show you some pictures of me in the sagebrush top and uh, my next project and me in these um ethel designer pants so um i'll go on to my next one so as you know it's gonna be chilly here in birmingham um united kingdom and um to say it's chilly is an understatement um i don't actually like the cold i prefer the heat and um i decided to throw in an extra make which didn't take long at all from um i already had the pattern cut out um although i did have to trace out another pattern another size because i had to size down on this pattern because my measurements i thought were a size five and i realized after making the um the erin dungarees that um tilly and the buttons items of clothing are to come with the finished garment sizes come up too big in the sizes that should be for my for my measurements so i sized down anyway so my measurements met with the size five but the finished garment so um finished garment sizes meant that i had to size down to a size four and i've still got quite a bit of ease in it as well uh, I made the, sorry, this is the Billy Button, Billy Sweatshirt, 
by Tilly, excuse me, by Tilly and the Bottoms. So <clears throat> here we are. Sorry, I do apologise. And there are the measurements, and that's the pattern. Now, uh, let me show it you in, in colour, which is probably better. So there you go. There's the Billy. So I went with the balloon sleeves, which is there, this one. But I went with the sweatshirt style there. And it meant his, let me just show you the sizings. So there you go for the sizings. Now this is the normal sizings and this is the finished garment sizes. So I went with the finished garment sizes, which meant I, I sized down to a size four. Um, excuse me, let me just pop, pop this in here because I keep everything nice and tidy just so I can't lose any pattern pieces because I, I have tended to do that. Um, it says it's for a confident beginner, but I think this, would also be a beginner it's beginner friendly um as long as you can read any the instructions and the sizing i would highly recommend you use tilly and the buttons because it the instructions oh, oh, my, sorry. the instructions are literally in pictures Instructions are in pictures, coloured pictures, by the way. And um, also, she holds your hand all the way through with instructions. Now, Tilly's book, Tilly and the Buttons instructions are extremely um, well written. As in the sense that sometimes some patterns do come in, um, some in jargon. But Tilly and the Buttons do come up in, excuse me, the dog's here. Bandy down, excuse me, let me sort the dog out. Sorry about that, I just had to sort the dog out. Um, yeah, so Tilly and the Buttons patterns, is squeaking again, sorry. Tilly and the Buttons patterns do come up in, um, her instructions are very well written and very well um very well written in the sense that she holds your hand and writes, explains it in layman's terms the whole way through the process. I would highly recommend a beginner use this pattern. Um, sorry, the dog's here again. Um, so I went with a sweatshirt in, um, sweatshirt in fabric and I bought this from Pound Fabrics and this was... I think this was, I think I bought it on the same one as this actually. Yeah, this was £2.50 a metre also. And this is just called sweatshirting. And I went with a, I mean, the, the, that's coming up quite dark there actually. But it's, it is actually um, the nice green that's coming up now, which is a, like an aqua colour. Uh, teal colour there, there you go you can see the teal colour there properly and I went with the balloon sleeves as you can see um, it came together really really well and this was done on the overlocker as well uh, every single step apart from round the neck um, here where I, I I top stitched around the neck neck bone the neck top part and um and that was only basically just to keep this down because once you overlock it, it tends to stick up that way a little bit even after iron it down and i used the clapper it still came up so i, I decided to top stitch it but tilling the buttons does say that if that happens just just do a zigzag all the way around which is what i've done um Next time I do this, I'm going to do this top in the dress version because 
it's such a look it is a really nice make and i do highly recommend tinny and the buttons clothing um clothing patterns because um her instructions are immac immaculately written she writes it in layman's terms and as i said it's just lovely so anyway that's it for friday shows from me this week and um if you like what i have spoken about and oh i'll tell a lie i'm not quite done just yet hold on a moment sorry i am sorry about that i do have some patterns that are to be cut out for i have cut them out for me to be sewing up next week so i've next week i have gone with the tin in the buttons um marnie top now i'm going with the top version but the um, without the frills on because i don't think i quite i don't think i'm going to quite suit that sort of style with the um although i don't know i might try, i'll try it this time without it because i've already cut the pieces out now and i'm doing it in a now this is a lovely viscose this also was bought from uh, west bromwich town centre um mm. and this was two pound a meter as well um so yes that was lovely so that's that one I've also gone with the cocoa top from Tilly and the Buttons and I'm making that in this one, this, pa this material which is t-shirting material, um, that was um, £5 something a metre from Lily Fabrics and I bought that way back in uh, august at the um the quilting crafting and quilting show at uh, the nac birmingham so that's that one and the other one is this dog's determined to get in on the action in there the other one are the ball yeah the bow shawl pants by stylark now I've gone for that one because I wanted to get my autumn sews all sewn up. Now once the cocoa and these bell shot be shawl be shawl have sewn up, I will have completed my um autumn and winter makes and I'll do another video on that one. Now this one this material this was bought from pound fabrics i don't know if you can see it this was bought from pound fabrics and i've decided to go for that color because i bought that and it, this from pound fabrics as i said this that one was only two pounds a meter and it's called the natural linen look natural linen look woven polyester fabric and that is the top one there now that was only two pound a meter so those are my makes for next week and um that's what i intend to do so next week I'll, i will bring out another video because i'm going to the nec birmingham for the crafting creative craft crafting um show on saturday and uh, I'll bring out another video and I'll show you what I've bought and what I've, um, what it's been like there. So, um, and then I'll bring out another video to show you my makes for next week. And whether I finish my autumn makes this week. Fingers crossed. And then I can make another video and show you all my autumn makes. Excuse me, I have cotton where it shouldn't be. So... Anyway, lovely to speak to you all again, and I will see you next week. Thank you. Oh, well, not next week. I will see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe, because there are plenty of you out there that are clicking the like button, uh, but not subscribing. Now, um, I know 
my vlogs are getting to the 500 mark um please 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 keep subscribing and get me to the 500 mark because that would make me so much happier coming towards christmas because i know my next half of the year then will be concentrating on getting another 500 subscribers so please like and subscribe and keep watching thank you very much bye bye